I'm going to do a review on this XY-SK80 buck boost power supply. I got this on eBay for $13 plus a nominal shipping amount. And I got it from a guy called SURVY 2014. going to be some fan noise because I have electronic load with fans in it and I have a big power supply with fans in it. Also it's not running but there is a fan on this. I found on Banggood uh, this manual which I converted to a word file and then I edited it. So Features, parameters, the, the normal display mode. When I power it up, and it says somewhere the optimum supply voltage is 15 volts. So it's now hooked to a power supply that will supply, well, is supplying 15 volts. And I don't know where the overcurrent protection on the big power supply is. It will supply up to 30 amps. I hope we never get there. Right now there is no output voltage. I just push this once. It takes a fraction of a second to come on. It was set to 12 volts if we looked at that here turn it off again. Presently it's set for 12 volts DC output and 5.1 amps maximum current. It's in the constant voltage mode because there's no current at all being drawn. I'll power the uh, load up, which happens to be the, my dummy load. And you see it starts off at 11 point something, and it gets back up to 12. The load's drawing uh, a little more than 4 amps. And that's what it says on the load, so that's pretty close. So it must be doing some correcting, and the fan has started. Now, I, my big power supply has analog meters, and it's drawing practically 4 amps. I can go down in one-tenth. There we go. I'm going down. My dummy load is set for a constant current. I'll turn it off. Well, I'll set it to 11 volts. We're down to 11 volts now. I'm going to turn it off. back on and it returns to 11 volts. So ignore the set for the time being. It's off. This is refers to the load. It's off. The load is now on. I'll turn off the big power supply. Of course the big power supply just depowers the whole thing. Turn it back on and it retained the last setting but it powered on with the load off. See it takes a second for the load to 
be powered after I turn it on. I don't know if this thing is acceleration sensitive or not. The output voltage is supposedly adjustable down to six tenths of a volt with a maximum of approximately 36 volts. Here we are at six tenths of a volt and Apparently my electronic load doesn't work that well. Well, my electronic mo load must have turned off. Turn this down to 4 volts. <laughs> 4 volts. The load is powered. The analog meter reads as close as I can read it, one and a quarter amps. We're still outputting four amps. So 20 volts times four amps. So as I increase this, I should get to, it should shut down on high wattage. And there we go at 20.6 over power shutdown. The voltage falls back to nothing. Let's see if it automatically restarts when I turn it down. It does not restart. Turn it off and on, that is power of the load. This off-on switch is really the load switch. Now, it's been keeping track of some parameters. Since I've powered this load, 80 watts. This is the number of amp hours, 0 0.04. Now it starts every time I power the load and zeroes out on the next repower. Watt hours 1.2 and you see it's accumulating watt hours. It's been on for a hundredth of an hour. And we're back to normal conditions. Well we just went off on over temperature. The manual includes three modes of operation as an ordinary step up, step down module. That's the function it's in now. As a charger, constant current voltage, constant current situation. And as a constant current driver, Under voltage protection, if I go below 4.8 volts, I actually have to turn the power off to the module, not just depower the load. Of course, it's DC only. There are some things uh, mentioned here. Now, we look at the wiring, V in minus and V out minus are right next to each other with V in positive and, and output positive on other ends of, of the terminals. These cannot be connected together. It suggests more than 15 volts as a supply uh, to the module. if you want to operate it at maximum power. If you are uh, enjoying this video, 
it might be a good time to go down and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it helps me in the YouTube search algorithm. I've got the voltage set to 20 volts and I've got my dummy load set to about 2 amps. I'm going to turn this on now. I'm still supplying 15 volts for my power supply to this unit. So now with 15 volts of supply voltage, 20 volts output voltage, 2 amps output voltage, the current being fed into the unit is 3 amps. I'm going to keep this at 2 amps. I'm going to increase it to maximum. So 36 volts is the advertised maximum. Current still 2 amps. The fan is, is running. And the input current to the unit is about 6 amps. Now we're near the wattage limit of 80 watts. Really with 70 2 watts, something like that. But if you intend to operate this at a sustained high voltage with a nominal 15 volt input, you'd better be prepared to supply about 7 amps from your DC uh, supply. Now if I hold this button down for five seconds, it goes into lock. So now I can't change any of the print. Well, now I can't change any of the parameters. I'm still, my load is still on. And it'll stay locked. I'm going to turn this off. See the lock is still there. Now I'm actually going to turn my uh, supply power off. So the units died. You can turn the big supply back on now. Now the load did not start. It's set to power on with the load off. But notice it's still locked. So if I power the load, it's still 36 volts and it's still 2 amps. Now holding it down for 3 seconds puts me into the parameter change mode. I'm going to go right through that by counting to 5 seconds. you see how we rode through the parameter change? I'll hold it for three seconds. Okay, it automatically turned the load off and it allows us to set various parameters. This is actually LVP, which is low voltage protection and this is measuring input voltage. In this mode I can change that. So it looks like I can raise it but I can't lower it below. This is the minimum input. The load is now off. And I keep feeling this coil with my fingers. It does get hot. So I like this quite a bit. 
In fact, I like it a lot better than the, the standard buck converters. I've used them extensively. As long as you stay inside the envelope of 80 watts, I think you'd be fine with this. This is the uh, edited user manual, and it will be linked to in the description down below.